When I was a high school student, I worked in a gene therapy lab in Des Moines, Iowa. And the goal of the lab was to try to treat human diseases through gene therapy. So we knew a lot of mutations can cause disease. So one of the things you think we might be able to do is to just go into the genome of a cell and repair those mutations. Turns out the human genome is like a book with three billion letters. And if you want to go into that three billion letter novel and make a single correction of a typo, that is remarkably challenging. To solve this challenge, my group and also others have worked on developing ways to be able to edit genes in the genome. Um, the early technologies based on things like talon or zinc finger nucleases were cumbersome to use, and we wanted to develop something that's faster, easier, and also cheaper. When I read about a paper from Sylvain Moynou's lab uh, at the Laval University in Montreal, uh, he described that the CRISPR-Cas9 system can cleave DNA inside a bacterial cell. I got immediately very excited, and I thought, if we can put this into a human cell to be able to edit the DNA in human genome, then we'll have a very exciting technology. Over the past couple of decades, many scientists have worked on trying to understand how bacterial cells are able to defend themselves against virus infection, and they studied a system called CRISPR. All of the knowledge that they had accumulated made the system a very attractive candidate to explore. So I designed a strategy that would allow us to engineer Cas9 so that we can put into a human cell to be able to edit the DNA. And since then, we have continued to explore the diversity of CRISPR systems and identified other enzymes that can further expand our genome editing toolbox. Over the past three years, Cas9 has already accelerated the pace of research in many fields. Many scientists around the world are using Cas9 to study anything from human disease to agriculture to biotechnology. In the next decade, the understanding and the discoveries that these scientists are going to be able to make using the Cas9 system will lead to new innovations that will translate into new therapeutics and also new products that can benefit our lives. And finally, I hope one day that we'll be able to use the system to directly correct mutations and to treat diseases. It's a great honor to share this recognition with other pioneers in the CRISPR field. We're just getting started, and I'm really looking forward to continuing to push the field forward. Thank you.